starring Tommy Rettig as Jeff Miller. Jan Clayton as his mother, Ellen. George Cleveland as Gramps. And, of course, Lassie. Petey, the peddler. No, no, it's not Petey. Petey moved to Chicago to live with his son. This is a new fellow, a young man, a super salesman, and he drives me crazy. Well, what do you want me to do? Oh, get rid of him, please. Listen, all you got to do is tell me you don't want nothing. Uh -huh, that's what you think. Oh, now, come on, do me a favor just this once and hurry up before he gets in here. Well, what'll I tell him? Anything. Tell him we're poor as church mice. Tell him we've lost all our money in a gold mine. Anything. Get rid of him. How do you do, sir? Is the lady the house at home? Yes, yeah, she's to home, but uh, she ain't feeling too good. Well, now, I'm sorry to hear that. Perhaps I can show you our special of the week. This miraculous handy-dandy carpet sweeper guarantee. Just a minute. All I ask is a few minutes of your time to demonstrate. Now, is look here, I... to sell for $17.50, but available this week? Look, own... maybe you can talk faster than I can, but I can yell louder. <laughs> well, what I was trying to say is that... Uh, we ain't got no money to buy nothing. Not even if it costs five cents. No, no. A man with a nice farm like this? Yeah, mortgage to the hill. Can't even pay the feed bill. The bank will be foreclosing on us any day now. Oh, that's too bad. Sure is. I thought you people were pretty well off. Yeah, I'm the one to blame. Made a bad investment. Should never have put that money in the gold mine. A gold mine? Yeah. Put in every cent I had and mortgage the farm to boot. Oh, that's too bad. I'm sorry to hear that. Like the saying goes, shoemaker, stick to your last. Oh, them's two words, ain't they? Well, good luck, sir. Thank you, son. Thank you. <laughs> It doesn't. A pup tent only costs six dollars. How can an explorer's tent cost a hundred? I don't know, but I bet you it does. Hey, look, there's old Petey's truck. Yeah. Maybe he has an explorer's tent. Maybe. Hey, Petey! What's the big idea snooping in my truck? Are you trying to steal something? Oh, no. Anyway, it's Petey's truck. Not anymore. He sold out to me. Now stay away. Get. Oh, but, mister. Can't you see I'm doing something? We just wanted to know if you had an explorer's tent. With a drop flap in front. So what if I have? Porky and me were thinking of buying one. Well, this is Porky. Hi. Hi. Well, that is if they don't cost too much. $12.50. There, what'd I tell you? Gee, we could save that much easy. I already have some saved. Do you think you could drive up to my place and show it to my gramps? Where's your place? Well, just up the road a ways, the Miller Farm. The Miller Farm? You don't want a tent, kid. Forget it. Save your money. Well, mister, all we want Look, to do kids, is... kids, will you forget about the tent for now? Maybe later, huh? What do you mean? Well, I've been up to your place, and I'm telling you, your folks can't afford to be buying you any tents. Who said so? Your grandfather. He's broke. Broke? The farm is mortgaged, and he might lose it any day now. He dropped everything in a gold mine. Gee, Jeff. I sure am sorry. 
should have told me. You should have told me. Jeff. Hmm? You aren't sick, are you, honey? Well, I'm fine. But you aren't eating your pie. Better eat it while you can. There ain't gonna be no more for a long time. May I be excused? Mary Pat's getting pretty well picked out. Something's worrying, Jeff. Well, that's nothing new. I know what it is. <laughs> Forgot all about it. Jeff! Forgot all about it, Jerry. Your allowance money. Oh, thanks, Gramps, but I have some money left over from last week. Good night. Is my hearing getting bad? I heard it, too. Well, when a boy don't eat his favorite pie, it could be he's off his feed. But when he refuses his spending money, there's something wrong. Up here. to trip over and kill himself. Where did all of this come from? Well, that's what I'd like to know. Jess, do you know anything about this? No, I don't, but Lassie thought she heard someone last night, and when I looked, no one was here. I'd better get dressed for school. Did you put that stuff at our back door last night? What stuff? You know, the canned stuff and the bread and sweet potatoes. Those weren't sweet potatoes. Ha. Huh? How'd you know it was me? I didn't, but Lassie sure did. And I was afraid of that. Well, thanks for the stuff, but don't you think your mom will miss it? No, she's got lots of it. Anyway, I'm gonna put it back as soon as I save up enough money. Well, speaking of money, I gotta go into town today after school. What for? See Mr. Murdoch at the drugstore. What about? business. You're late, dear. Oh, I know. Well, I didn't mean to be. Something came up. I got a job. Ain't there work enough around here to keep you busy? Oh, sure, Gramps. I can do my chores here, too, but well, this is a real job with money. What kind of job, Jeff? Delivering stuff after school for Mr. Murdoch. Sweetheart, that won't give you any time for fishing and baseball. Oh, I know, Mom, but well, maybe you don't realize it, but I'm getting pretty old for that kind of stuff. Well, here's what I made today. Forty cents. Here. Well, that's good, boy. But what are you giving it to me for? Well, if I kept it, I'd just spend it on foolishness. Where, well, this way you can keep it and help run the farm. Oh, Jeff, I... I think that's very thoughtful of you, but you earned the money, and I think you should keep it. 
Now, wait a minute, Ellen. The boy is right. A person can't learn the value of money too early. We men got to face up to our responsibilities. Ain't that right, boy? I'll just put this aside. It might come in handy. Grant, does a family cost a lot of money? You thinking of getting married? Well, as long as money ain't growing on trees, it does. Prices are sure getting out of hand. What's this bill from Doc Weaver here? All those shots he gave Lassie last month. Well, the way he charges, you'd think he put gold in her veins. It's pretty expensive to keep a dog, isn't it, Gramps? Well, ain't nothing cheap nowadays. Do you have an old canvas I can use? Yeah, there's an old type holder out in the barn there. Can I have it? Sure. Thanks. Come on, girl. Hey, Jeff. When'd you make it? Yesterday. Of course, it's, well, it's not a real explorer's tent, but, well, since I can't afford to buy you a birthday present or go have these with you on a new one, well, I figured I had to do something. Oh, gee, Jeff, it's just perfect. Thanks a lot. Well, now I've got to ask you to do me a favor. Well, sure, Jeff, anything. Well, yesterday, Mom and Gramps were going over some bills, and they were real worried. Gramps even said we couldn't have any more berry pie. More pie? Well, Gramps also said that we men have to face up to our responsibilities. The way I figure it, Lassie's my responsibility. And I just can't afford to keep her. Oh, you're not going to give her away? Well, no. If there's anything I can do, we're blood brothers, you know, and I want to do everything I can. Well, that's just it, Porky. Can you keep her at your house until I make a lot of money? How are you going to make a lot of money? I don't know. Well, I tell my folks. You know, they'll want to know all about it when I bring Lassie in. Well, I don't know, but we can think of something. Mm -hmm. I know. I could tell them that Lassie doesn't like you anymore. Why don't you just tell them that you've been wanting Pokey to learn to be like Lassie? And the only way he'll learn is to be around Lassie. That wouldn't be a lie. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Mom, is it okay if I go into town for a while? Mm -hmm. Just don't be late for supper. Jeff, what are you doing with your ice skates this time of the year? Well, I'm going to sell them. <laughs> what in the world for? I don't need them anymore. I don't need the rest of this junk either. Yes, just a minute. Come back here. Now, what's going on around here? You're trying to sell your baseball mitt and your skates. Uh, perhaps you're going to want those things again. Well, I figured it'd be a good way to make some money. Oh, I cannot understand this sudden frenzy of yours to want to make money. Mom, I already told you I'm growing up. You just won't believe me. Well, it seems to me that you're rushing it a bit. Well, I don't think so. I've even thought of going into a business. Oh, Jeff. I wish you'd tell me the reason for sending Lassie away, Jeff. No, no. The real reason. And for wanting to sell all your things. And those groceries at the back door. Well, you already know I want to sell my things, but about the groceries, I just can't tell you, Mom. Why? Because it's somebody else's secret, and I can't tell you. Does your needing money have anything to do with this secret? And you're wanting to quit school? Yes. Does it have anything to do with what Gramps said to you about facing responsibilities? Well, then, let's, let's talk about your career. Now, what, what kind of work did you intend to do? Delivering groceries. Will that salary be large enough to take care of your responsibilities? I can make $10 a week, maybe. Jeff, do you know that it costs Gramps twice that amount every day to take care of us and run the farm? No, I didn't. Well, now that you do know, don't you think it would be wiser for you to continue going to school so that when the time comes, you can really face up to your responsibilities? 
Yes, I, I guess so. Now, I suppose you put your things back where they belong, hmm? Well, if you don't care about Lassie, I do. And unless you can give me a good reason why it's necessary to send her back to Porky, she stays here, where she belongs. Well, I promised Porky I... Well, he needs her to help train Pokey. That's not good enough, Jeff. I better put my stuff away. Your house? I sent her back yesterday afternoon. She hadn't been at my house all night. Look in the bar. Maybe she's there. I'll be out in a minute. better look for her. Well, I'd better get home before my mom comes in to wake me. Oh, okay, I'll see you in school. What will I do with the groceries? Put them in the barn. Gramps will find them. Good morning, Paul. Good morning, Miss Miller. Um, nice day, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it's a very nice morning. Oh, Porky, I want to thank you for the groceries. Uh, groceries? Oh, what groceries, Miss Miller? Well, the ones you put in the barn and, and the others you left at the kitchen door. Me? Yes, you. Now, suppose you tell me what this is all about. About? Girl, I didn't mean to make you feel bad. I just had to do it. It won't happen again, though, I promise. You're gonna stay with me now, and well, I'll just work twice as hard to get the money to feed you. Maybe Pokey will share his food with you. You must be hungry now. Come on, let's go home and get something to eat. Come on. You better eat, dear, then go out and look for Jeff, or you'll both be late for school. Hey, here he is. What are you doing here? Oh, Jeff. <laughs> Everything's all right. Porky told us all about it. It's all a joke, Jeff. A joke. What's a joke? Come on, sit down and have your breakfast. We'll tell you all about it. About what? Your Gramps isn't really poor. He didn't lose any money in a gold mine, either. He just told that to the peddler guy to get rid of him. What, you mean... Oh, no. It's him again. Oh, Dad, would you... No, no, never mind. Good morning. Good morning. Won't you come in and have a cup of coffee? Ah, uh, thank you. Good morning, folks. 
Uh, Mrs. Miller, I uh, hope you'll accept this in the spirit in which it's uh, given. You know, uh, just to sort of uh, tide you over. Now, wait a minute, young fella. We got to get something straight. I was wrong in telling you we lost all our money. I should have known that telling lies, even white lies, uh, gets you into trouble. Uh, sorry, Mr. Miller. I, I don't know what you mean. Well, we ain't broke, and the farm ain't mortgaged, and we never lost no money in the gold mine. Ellen here didn't want to buy anything from you, so I figured that was the best way to get rid of you. Well, uh, I suppose I should be insulted. But I'm delighted. Now, son, about that explorer's tent. I got a good second hand when I can let you have for half price. Now, nothing doing. These boys got to have a new one or nothing. Oh, thanks, man. See, anything in this world too good for these two. And this includes you, too. 